Ah, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Hunt for Bronze. I'm here with uh, PK in Tampa, and uh, we are currently on his boat, not mine. As you, as you can tell, there's a lot more room for activities. Um, we're at Barumba. Already, already started the fishing here. I've caught one bass, not on camera. Lost the, well, had a bit of a hookup to a toga. Not on camera because it was too dark to film, but it was just light enough to be casting in where we currently are, which is in the back of a bay amongst this timber. Now it's been four plus years since I've been to this dam. Uh, and last time I was here, I was lucky enough to, I think it was catch my first toga. Um, so I'm hoping to have a bit of a replication and catch some more toga because it's been a while since I've caught those fish and they are one of my favorites. They are absolute beauties and I hope to get one for you guys. But I'm going to stick with top water for a bit and then we're going to just cycle through the lure choice. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's what we're doing. So let's go. Let's, let's catch some fish and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I was oh, that was a fish. Was it? Yeah. That was a bass or a tiger. Yeah. Did it go yeah, on. On. Oh, that's a good fish. Whatever that is. Bass. Oh, it's not as big as I thought. See how angry they are? Yeah. Woo! Bass one. Two. Bass numero dos on the buzz bait. And besides tangling himself up in the net, pretty compliant. There we go. That's him there. Look at that. One for dads. Happy with that. Say goodbye to Mr. Bassy. On. That's a good fish. No way. Oh, that's a tiger. I'm using the little net. No, I can't see it. There it is. Yes. yes. I was. <laughs> um, can you get the? I reckon you had two goes at. So yeah, I reckon that was the first tap. Well, PK's just done it. He's got the toga. Tick that off the list, and you, yeah, just just awesome. So cool. I'm about to. Just gonna fire him down. Yeah, you can fire him down if you want. He belly flopped. Belly flopped in, but... Yep, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. That's a toga. Stay down. Stay down, buddy. Stay down. Ready? Oh. Boo -yah. yeah! On the buzz bait. On the buzz bait, all right. <sighs> deep they are. They're a deep fish. Yeah. Well, that's it, guys. That is a toga on the buzz bait. Now I'm just going to let this guy go, and I just slip him in the water. Should swim away nicely. Ripper. <sighs> Stoked with that.
boy, boy. Yep, fish. Oh boy. Yep, fish. Bass? Yeah, bass. Yeah, he boiled on that over the just after the weed. I got fish. Good little bass. Deep, stocky fish. And he ate that. Just a little slurp though. Real subtle. Yeah. But I watched him bow behind it. And then he just, just slurped it. Stick to what you're good at, you know. Hey. Stick to what you're good at. And that's him there, that little plumper. Sick. Selfie film, guys. Look at that. Bass on the buzz bait. You're going to love that. These are a cool, hardy fish. Now I'm just going to unhook them and we're going to let them go. We'll, we'll go over this side where there's no rods. All right. Say goodbye to Mr. Bass, everyone. See you, mate. Bass? Need a hand? Got him. Got him. Noise. Cool. Smart. Ah. Still good morning, guys. Um, we are now doing a bit of exploring. The bite's really slowed down. There's been a few taps here and there, but pretty much since we left our first bay um, and the sun came up, it, it's really slowed down. But we've now got a bit of wind blowing over the dam. That change, hopefully, will allow us to get fish. Um, I haven't... I think I've gotten one tap and that was on a little lipless crank but most of the taps have been coming on uh, smaller style chatterbaits uh, so we're gonna have to just keep on rolling through and see what we can do just cruise let's catch some fish this is where I cast. on the edge of the weed yep. straight yeah. up that um, tree yep Yeah. He got hooked though, he won't come back. No. Unless he's got a friend there. Yeah, I love a lot of sort of baits just gonna work through the feed for you. Yeah. Oh look, to be honest, I haven't really gotten around chatterbaits that much. As much as I should have. Yeah, these two little trees are should be all right. Yeah, I cast the hell out of that last time, didn't get a single bite. Oh, today might be different. Mm. The other side of these, like the the gaps, I'm looking for the gaps. Yeah. So I think I have a layers and have a crack. Oh, on. Holy shit. Hmm. I not swim as slowly as the other Maybe the extra on the tail, the bigger plus. Oh, I hit. Yeah, on. That's a toga. That's a toga. That's why we're losing them. That's why we're losing them. Please have my 
know what she's about. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get him pretty quick before we lose him. Out. Oh. <sighs> oh, that's a toga there, guys. Hooked awesomely in the top of the mouth. Um, I'm just gonna have to punch it out, I reckon. All right, guys, that's that beautiful toga I caught. Um, I'm just gonna take the lip grips out. Give him a little swim in the water and get a good release on it. He's gone. He's a healthy release. That's awesome. Finally, it's taken us a few hours, but we finally got a fish. Let's keep going. Get some yeah. more. More importantly, a few hours since our last fish. Dude. Well, yeah, that too. Here we go guys, the lure that did the damage, a tiny little chatterbait with a uh, little fish arrow flash jay as a trailer. I was using the, a larger chatterbait before and although the action on it was awesome, it just, I don't think it was quite matching the hatch right. Now I've downsized, I've been uh, keeping up with PK and his catch rate. What the f***? Well guys, this is uh, the prime of boating and politeness when you're on a dam. We're fishing this weed bed out in the open and it's quite clear that it's weed. They could easily go around, but instead they've pushed all the way through and up what we're fishing. And that's just, that's just rude. So if you know these people, ask them what they were thinking because that is just bull. Well, obviously there's a fish over there because I keep being unable to cast to it. Oh, okay. Yep. Toga. That caught the same way as that other one that broke me off. Okay, so it was a toga. Got him. Oh, this is a tree. <sighs> That's exactly the same pull I had on the Okay, other. so it was. Ready? Yeah. So, yep, abrupt halt to that video uh, there at Barumba. So I was going through editing this footage and I realised that I have not actually done an outro. So the last thing you saw was PK in Tampa releasing a toga uh, boat side. And well, now I'm currently sitting at my hotel overlooking the lovely Brisbane. Um, yeah. So, pretty much what the go. The go was buzz baits early. Uh, I had a lot of success with that pretty early on. Like, it was it was pretty quick, the, uh, the spacings between fish. The first fish, which I didn't hook up to, unfortunately, was a big toga on it, which would have been awesome if I actually landed it. Uh, the second fish was a pretty good sized bass, you know, like mid thirties, wasn't, wasn't too bad. I uh, didn't get either of those on camera because it was just on dark and I thought, well, I'm not gonna see anything so I won't be rolling, but I should have rolled. Oh well, 
Uh, the next fish I caught was obviously that second bass on the buzz bait, and from then on, you guys saw what happened. So yeah, that was a Domeki MTB buzz in the red and black uh, with a Gamma Katsu G stinger rigged onto the back hook. I use that because it's a free swinging stinger hook and it seems to get more buzz bait bites and that's a good little tip thanks to our good friend Bev. The last fish of mine, uh, which was only one, was caught on a little chatterbait. I believe it's the new dial ones. I don't know, I just, I was looking for a little profile chatterbait uh, and something that wouldn't get hung up as much where we were casting it. Unfortunately, all the other chatters I had were getting lost up in there. Um, little fish arrow trailer on it just to add that bit of realism. Uh, PK got all of his fish on that same chatterbait as well. So guys, that has been another episode of The Hunt for Bronze. I hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry about the hair and everything. I, uh, yeah, this is how I look. Don't forget, huntforbronze.com.au for all your shirts and fishing shirts. Uh, also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy it. Uh, for now, that's another episode done and dusted. Stick, uh, stay tuned. Uh, there should be an episode on Noosa dropping real soon. Anyway, go out fishing, enjoy yourselves, and I'm out. Peace.